you guys are launching 13 books, mm -hmm. all devoted to women and coding. This is something that's kind of in your DNA. Yeah. Talk to me about the inspiration behind Ah, I'm so excited. Yes, we're releasing a series with Penguin. Learn to Code, Change the World, which is written by me. Um, and we have this amazing team to help put the book together. It's essentially our curriculum in a graphic novel. Mm -hmm. So it's like the fundamental concepts of computer science, profiles of women in technology, and then really describing things that our girls have actually built. And it's for girls kind of eight to 12. And then we have a series of fiction books. Um, our first one that comes out is The Friendship Code. And it's like Babysitting Club meets Coders. Yeah, it was, I, I it saw is, it described as like yeah. the Babysitter's Club, it, but it's such a different concept totally, in a way. Right, because they meet at a coding club and they have the same adventures and they meet boys. So I feel like if you're a parent, you can pick up any one of our books. You yourself can learn about computer science. So you pick up the prime, you pick up the one that's coming out in August, Learn to Code, Change the World, and you're like, oh, I understand what an algorithm is or a variable is. And then it's like if your daughters or the girls in your life are like not sure yet, like I feel like these books are so accessible and they just reel you in. What kind of is your overarching message? What yeah. do you want people to know about um, what they're going to read and what they're going to see? Yeah. So I want girls to learn how to code and become change makers. Like my goal is for every girl to read that book, to see themselves in those characters, and to be more excited about learning how to code. And like a win is if every girl who reads that book turns around and hands it to her friend and says, you have to learn how to code too. Literary representation matters, and if every book you pick up that's about coding or video games, you see a boy who doesn't look like you, you're not going to think that this field is open to you. And what's so amazing about this book series with Penguin is that it's t the stories are told in the voice of girls. Right. So it's a middle school girl walking you through the fundamental concepts of computer science, like telling you about an app she's building. And you're looking at this girl and you're seeing yourself in her. I'm like, I look like Erin. I look like Sophia. I look like Layla. I remember watching your TED Talk. The message was striking. It was, we need to teach a different narrative to, to yeah. our girls. One that's not, you have to be perfect, but it's that you have to be brave. Because yeah. apparently, young men get a different narrative yeah. growing up. With the boys, they're like pushing them in the deep end right. because they're teaching them how to be men how to be risk takers, how to be fearless. And for our girls, it's all of that coddling and protection. It's doing a disservice to our women. And I think the exciting part of this is like, it's never too late to learn how to be imperfect and learn how to be brave. How has imperfection and this concept of imperfection applied to your life? Oh my God, I, I, I set myself to fail uh, every day. Like I apply for things that I don't think I'm gonna get. I celebrate my rejections. That, and that doesn't mean it doesn't hurt. It's not just about getting that promotion or getting the job I ever wanted. It's about living a joyful life. I live a life that's not full of regret and it makes me healthier. As we see all these stories lately of sexual yeah. harassment coming out, women coming out of, yeah. you know, coming to, to talk about these stories, what do you think in Silicon Valley and in yeah. technology they can do to make sure that if women get in the door, if yeah. they start coding and they become programmers, yeah. they're treated with respect and they have the same opportunities at these tech companies? Yeah. Well, first of all, I'm so proud of these women and their bravery of coming out and using their voice because the culture is broken. But I think the way to fix it is we just need more women. You know, when you have workforces, you know, at some of these companies that are less than 50% female, like nothing's going to change. Fewer than one out of five computer science graduates are women. It's crazy, right? At a time where there's 500,000 open computing jobs. And so that's why at Girls Who Code, we're all about like infiltration, like flooding the gates yeah. with women and girls that are going to go into technology. Um, and so that we fundamentally change the culture in the valley. Mm -hmm.